How to turn off Excel header row without losing data in it. I've been sent an Excel spreadsheet with a weird first row. Some of the cells say column 1, column 2, etc., but I can't delete their contents. If I select the cell and hit backspace, it goes blank, but when I press return, it goes right back to saying column 1. I found another answer here that suggested this could be caused by cell validation, but the validation window says any value, and also show alert, and I'm not seeing an alert, so I don't think that's it. The first row is white text on a blue background, if that means anything. The spreadsheet was sent to me in XLSX format, but I tried resaving as XLS and opening that, and it seems to make no difference. This is with the ribbon version of Excel. They got rid of the help menu so I don't know how to see what version number it is. Thanks. Update. The Excel online help says to use ribbon home tab, cells, delete, to delete cells. When I select anything on the first row, this pop-up menu is dimmed. So maybe Excel doesn't think row 1 consists of cells? Though I don't know what else it would call them. Update 2. I found it, kind of. If I click the Design tab in the ribbon, then uncheck Header Row, then First Row becomes a normal row of cells again. Unfortunately, the contents disappear entirely. I want to delete a few cells, not all 50 plus. And if I copy the first row before turning off Header Row, it disappears from the clipboard when I uncheck that. So I kind of know what mode it's stuck in, but not a good way out of it. The person who sent me the file, who is an Excel master, showed me the solution just now. Select all, right-click, table, convert to range. For newer Excel versions, 365, 2019, 2016, 2013, etc., the following method works. Go to Table Tools Design on the ribbon. In the Table Style Options group, check the header row box. Link to Microsoft Forum.